Hello and welcome to Get the Body and Fitness You Want with Holistic Approach. I'm Scott Bryant of Active Bryant Systems and what I'm going to talk to you today about is about personal training tips for your business, for your life and for just personal training tips. And I've got 10 of them and I hope that you're going to enjoy them and they'll be insightful and they'll help you with your business and your and personal training people. Okay, so if you'd like to subscribe there, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be really nice of you. As you can see, I'm in a different position in my home today because I could not get my laptop to work. I couldn't get my my iPhone to work. And now I'm on my iMac in which to be able to talk to you about these key top tips. So uh, keep studying. As you can see, I've got a bookcase there, a bookcase over there full of lots of books. And I read 12 books a year in which to keep my knowledge really updated so I can really help my clients on a much, much deeper level. As you can see, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm down to uh, 13 stone from 15 stone doing fasting and stuff like that, which I've really enjoyed, which you can watch the video before this one that will give you an update on fasting and what the best books are to read. The next top tip, tip number two, is to always keep your knowledge updated. The more you keep your knowledge updated, the more that you can help your clients and charge a lot more money for your service. Okay, the next one is to keep saving. So what I mean by that is if you're running your own personal training business, clients go up, clients go down, you're busy in the uh, just before summer, then everyone goes away, then it goes quiet, then Christmas everyone goes away. So if you make sure you've got a year's salary saved, it's a good, good thing for you to do in which to make sure that you don't get into trouble. Okay, tip number four is don't just tell what your clients what to do, make sure that you're doing it yourself. So getting to bed on time, drinking enough water, exercising regularly, getting into the gym and doing all the things that the clients, that you want your clients to do because then your job becomes much, much easier and because you're being congruent with your clients, they will like it and it will be much, much better for you. Okay, uh, so tip number five is to always make sure you get big block bookings. So don't just book people in for 10 sessions, five sessions, one session at a time. Always make sure it's a big block booking so then that way you always get good money in your bank account and you can survive. And you can see how, how regular that client is going to train and how much they really want to do it and how much they're going to put into it energy wise. So this is what I do when I'm doing a sale with a client. I say to them, I want them to do a big booking so we can keep them congruent, keep them doing it, keep them not giving up, and I can really coach them fully to get the result that they're looking for. Okay, so tip number seven is give gifts. So when a client is successful, they've lost the weight, give them a gift. When they join up, give them a gift. When they leave you, give them a gift, especially when they leave. So if they're going to stop, give them a nice present just to say thank you for working with you if you leave and stop amicably with each other. And this can happen a lot. And uh, I find that giving them a gift, they'll always remember you in a good way. Okay, tip number nine is go out of your way to always help your clients to the max. To I've had clients that I've helped move. I've had clients who have done their shopping for them. I've had clients that have been ill where I've gone around their home. I do everything for my clients because they're investing in your service. So you should invest your time in them. Number nine, don't lie to your clients. Now, I've heard uh, trainers say silly things in the gym that they've not really backed up and there's no real proof. So make sure that you can back up what you're saying with either a white paper or a document or a book that they can read so they know you're not bullshitting them. And a lot of clients will read a lot of stuff in the media and not believe their trainer because they read it in the Sun or they read it in the Guardian and the Guardian's only got this much information about the the, the uh, thing that you might know a whole heap about so don't lie to your clients be honest with them when you don't know something refer them out if in doubt okay the big one at the end the tip number 10 if you don't love your job get out of it I've been doing this for 17 years I've had my ups and downs but I keep going I'm not a quitter I never give up and here's a thing that you can read is uh, have hopes and be strong, okay? Laugh out loud. Ha! Oh. Uh, 
smile often and dream big. Uh, remember you are loved and never ever give up. Look, never ever give up. So a client gave me that as a present for Christmas and I absolutely love it. So it's right next to my computer so I can uh, keep looking at it on a regular basis and keep myself motivated. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. And oh, here's the free gift. So the free gift is if you want to do a free hour Skype session with me, please like at the bottom and please mention or ask me a question and please subscribe there and then we can get chatting and uh, help you with your personal training business or I can give you some more top tips which I've not mentioned here. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe and please share. Thanks very much and I look forward to chatting to you again soon. Bye-bye.